Okay, the Thresh take it away. The Gragas was super early picked. I wonder if that Gragas uh, could potentially be jungle or if it's just complete blind top. Ooh, Talon. Okay, so Talon for, for Karsa. So that's just a straight up Gragas top. I don't I don't know, man. I feel like Talon is actually slightly overrated. I mean, I used to think Talon was really broken, but after, after like repeated nerfs, I just think it's okay. I mean, first strike is kind of necessary now but then if you take first strike that means you have no legend tenacity not sure how much i i actually like that Ooh, the kiana lands kiana is actually really insane so i think this is this will be really interesting sort of sticking to a target which is why she often takes ghost uh to help her do so for the extended trades and dragon is a target who's hard to oh okay here we go that's actually nice bro okay we take those that's clean right there and a good mid dive okay that's some good play we take those boys we take those you saw that okay so we see the mid dive here this is just strive staying under turret you ain't surviving that you didn't even need that was actually <laughs> kind of unfortunate he flashed during the q animation so q just followed him the whole way oh the end might be one shot oh they don't see the angle surely they gotta look for it they gotta go for it they're waiting for Carter. yeah i mean they are Leanne is probably in a lot of trouble here. Has got flash. Will pop the ultimate onto all three members and get himself out. They will, however, jump uh, Karsa he'll got him anyway. In the end, but that's a lot used there. And you can Smite it. I mean, he's Karsa dead. Really Karsa should, should be dead. Go. He'll jump over the wall, try to get the yeah. dark core going. But flash play. Yeah, I mean, he's dead here, surely. Yeah, he's going to have to try and trade this one out. There's the explosive cast. Oh, this guy's beyond dead. Will not get the needle work down. The unleash power is Why is every player who is in the conversation for GOAT always a mid laner? I mean, mid lane is, is one of the strongest roles in the game, and it has some of, like, the highest skill ceiling that you can you can have. Like, you're limited in other roles. Oh. Sniped by Photic with the ult. He actually applied the ult. Damn, I, that was, they turned really quick on that. Rookie actually flashed for the... I think it was the QE, but I'm, I don't think he actually landed the stun. Oh, Rich knocked him over the wall. What the hell? Damn. The Wait, the body slam knocked him over the wall. What the hell? Cubes that you can take him out, right? Cube can always stay up with that Omni vamp. Oh my God, the complete one shot. Any teasers for the new show? I mean, I can tell you like what the show. So it's gonna be an LEC specific talk show where we're just going to like chop up the LEC every week and go in depth on on teams on players on yeah on like narratives and everything oh rookie and they have no jungler this is this is gone this is just pure gone damn they turned that red buff invade into a, a baron honestly i think this game has been pretty well played i think this has been one of the best games we've seen in the lpl this split like in general it's it's way easier for them to play whoa 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 lian Oh, that guy has no stopwatch. Okay, they can one-shot the Thresh. Saw some time. Uh, Talon got exhausted. Talon got exhausted. He went for Eyeboy there. Uh, they're in a 2-2-1 right here. This is just circumstance. But yeah, getting the, the bot tier 2 and then going for the mid tier 1. I mean, this isn't a Baron where you're trying to like end the game or necessarily get an inhibitor. There's a lot of turrets still up on the map. This is one where you can balloon your gold lead from like a 2k lead to something like 6-7k if you just get the outers. Oh my god, Jinx is unleashed. Jinx is absurdly broken. I mean, it's weird, right? Because I, I feel like Jinx is absurdly broken too, but we never are so we're seeing a lot of people like trade affilios for jinx we're not seeing this insane priority on jinx where it's like first picked every game i don't mind soul being super op or being like kind of rng personally i mean obviously it'll feel bad at random games but most of the time it feels like you've if you're giving a soul and you're losing because of a soul i think it's yeah i think it's just uh it's your own fault you deserve to thresh just hook Aphelios. Aphelios is just gonna smurf. I think this is a game ender right here. Uh, they probably can't straight. I mean, they're at least gonna get Baron. The very least they get Baron off this. Each team should ban a soul, bro. You think you think that Rai could figure out how to put that in the game? They can't even they can't even fix their client. And you want them to figure out how to ban a soul? Have people choose which soul is removed from the pool? 
Hell no. Never will they do that. Drive almost got one shot. Wait, did Rookie not have enough balls there? I think I think Rookie had only like one ball or something. Maybe he just wasn't spamming his Q. Could be potential mana issues, but yeah, this game is done. His auto attacks are good, but is his auto attacks better than his? Yes, they are. And that's going to be Rich picking up the AD carry, but Syndra is down and dead. All right, this right is the last hurrah for V5. This is the last thing they can attempt. The rookie flank onto Strive. Now, Vic, uh, Victor is just too strong at this point in the game. Cube is just murdering them on the backside. Yeah, it's over. It is curtains. So all these mountain dragons, Cube is going to be incredibly tanky. What she could do, there's going to be... The most uh, underwhelming supreme display of talent I think I've ever seen. Over the wall as the fat man tries to jump in. Again, another good scatter of the, the week. That's going to be the ghost sign. you got to try and do something here. GA pops okay. straight away. It's just a complete whitewash. Oh my god, the Gwen. Dude, how does Rich make Cube look like Bin? Rich makes Cube look like he's Ole. Honestly, I'm a yeah, man, I'm a rich hater. I'm going to just say it. I'm a rich hater. It just really isn't it. <laughs> Yo. Yo, what's up? What's up, man? Man, what do you think about the Aphilios for uh, Jinx trade? Because I feel like the Jinx normally just wins out on this, but... Um, I don't actually know. You know the L LCK? I was talking... Well, not talking to Papa Smitty, but Papa Smitty was in my chat today. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't have... There's absolutely zero Jinx prior in LCK. Yeah, they like, literally, literally none. So I don't actually know what these matchups look like, but they LCK only likes Caitlyn, the Aphilios, Jinx. That's it. And then they'll go Astral Ziggs maybe every now and then. Damn. They don't give a f about Jinx. You think they run back uh, the uh, Gragas? The Rich? Mm, yeah, I think Gragas into Gwen is not great, though. I think they already showed their top. Maybe there's a better option. What's open? Jace is down. Graves? Yeah, Graves is fine. Uh, is there a better option yeah. when you have Rich on your team, though? Oh, Rice. I don't like that Rice pick. Oh, my God. Into Victor? Yeah, Rice into Victor Jarvan. Yeah, Victor Doesn't Jarvan and Philios, like, super outranged here. Like, it looked like it could. It had some potential. I liked what I was seeing. Fair enough. It's a good grand entrance and so a family legend. <laughs> Holy f the damage. All level 2 gank? Ah, uh, now we're talking. This is how I, I like this. to play Jarvan. Ah, uh, this, this should work. Die. Yeah, Jinx might die here. I mean, all he has to do is just flash auto attack on Dude, Jarvan. Dude, what is this? Nah, 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 nah. Oh, report report your ball. Oh my god. Oh, he's out. He's out. Yeah, he's out. Triumph? He's not Triumph. Oh, why? Well, actually, oh my god. Yeah, PP got almost just griefed the whole game, but Photic. If Photic died as well and Jinx got another reset, then yeah. Yeah, then you can just FF. Uh, he has to give up his top side to defend this dive. Yeah, looks like it. Can they really not survive this dive? Can they dive 3v2 on the top? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I don't Ooh, think they're they can. griefing, aren't they? Yes, exactly. Oh my god, Karsa missed his EQ. <laughs> we have the same reaction. Oh my god. Like RA should be griefing the game here, but no, he's gonna get a reset. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're just gonna they're just gonna win the game. Wait, is that a triple kill for the Oh, I thought it was triple kill for Thresh for a second just because of the Viego. Oh my god. Why don't they stay on turret here? work? Why don't they stay on turret? Yeah, yes, if they stay on the tower and Jarvan comes, they're clean. he's cleaning up. Oh my. What the hell is happening? Yeah. They just level 3, 4 versus 3, them in between 2 towers. And 1. Which is like pretty comparable to what my LPL ones were on my YouTube that's like built around me last year. So it's actually crazy how much this raw viewership is just existing in that community. Yeah, that's nuts. That is nuts. Yeah, that guy was really nice. That guy is that guy is the man. Oh my God, Cube! How do you? Oh how do you my God, up? Cube griefed it. He dashed away on it so hard. I like Blabber, man. I feel like Blabber, Blabber is like a bit underrated by the community in general. Domestically, he is like yeah, one of the best for sure. Right, he's probably the best in the history of. LCS, I would say. Yeah. Highest level of skill. In the history of LCS, I I, I can't really think of jungles right now. I mean, All it would I be like Xmithy, early days like, is like Centaurin. Yeah. Amy Centaurin. Centaurin, it would be like Xmithy is, 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 is another name. Yeah, dude. Other than Centaurin, what is another successful import jungler? Maybe Sven Skarin as well, a little bit? Yeah, I mean, Sven won an MVP. He definitely can't be slept but, on. Like, I feel like domestic NA junglers has found more success now. I think about it like Meteos, Spica, 
Blabber X Smithy. Hmm. Like, I had this conversation yesterday. Yeah. He wasn't, right? I had this conversation yesterday. Yeah. Like, east to west, the junglers have been really unsuccessful. Like, in, in terms of EU, right? Like, oh my god, rookie, what did you just do? What the f are you doing, rookie? <laughs> look, look at Carson what laughing. What the f? Carson, Carson, yeah, Carson's <laughs> laughing at it. What the f was that? He, had, he, he was misclicked. out. 100% he misclicked on the portal. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, when you look at LEC, right, the only import jungler, I mean, I guess you could say Trick, Trick and, uh, yeah, I mean, Trick and, and Rainover are probably the only two successful import junglers mm. in the history of the league. Yeah, but I think the last two, three years, EU doesn't import junglers anymore. Yeah. I mean, maybe in the last three years. The last three years, it's just been self-made inspired Yankos and now El Yoya. When was Mowgli? Mowgli was Vitality 2019. Okay. For one year. Then he was out in 2020. Uh, Malrang... Oh, true. I guess they did import Malrang this year. Yeah, so I know you're all spamming Malrang, but uh, in the in the last three years, the only two imported junglers have been Malrang Mowgli, I think, and and Trek played in 2020, I believe. Oh yeah, he was on SK. SK. Oh my God, yes, he yeah. was. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah NA junglers have found more success, other than like recently, I guess closer counts because they won summer. Yeah. Oh my God, Jarvan is so broken. I mean, just think about like all of the. Domestic beast junglers we've had. You have like Blabber, Spica, you had me, like. <laughs> too insane. Like, how do people compete? Oh my god. <laughs> How's. Uh, dude, we're both analysts and our, both our trophy cabinets are empty. <laughs> True, actually. Sedge. Sedge. Well, I mean, I guess I got, I got like, I got a, a tournament win in, in season two before LCS started. It was like, yeah, I mean, I won a couple French lands and uh, oh, I mean, the it was Neo like, Surf it was, Cup. It was one with like all the real teams. It was CLG, TSM. Like, we, we actually won one. I've, I've got two trophies from esports in the last six years. One was, I mean, I did win more lands, but actual physical trophies in my house. One was the UK land in, in 2017 that, of course, was a quick stomp. And the other is just the esports analyst of the year. So uh, my analyst career in one year has equated my six years of pro career in terms of physical trophies and evidence of achievements. How many times did I make playoffs? I think I made playoffs over split. Yeah, I made playoffs over split. So it was four. Yeah, same. Yeah, no, I know. I met yeah. Pedro in playoffs. He took me out on his way to his first North American LCS championship. True story. If you ask anyone, it's actually one of the most hidden secrets in esports. In X Smithy's back to back to back wins with TL, mm -hmm. the reason they found so much success was he had a small little USB stick that he plugged into the PC, which automatically downloaded TeamViewer. Oh my god, and wait, then I, I played for, for him. Nice. But I, I, I couldn't tell anyone. I never was going to tell anyone until around 20 years. I had an NDA. But I think it's slowly being leaked because Dom knows. Yeah, true. <laughs> I, I, I always get memed on by my chat. They always tell me I never made Worlds. But like I did. I just I just didn't win a game in Worlds. You know, like we just got quick 0-3. So it was pretty much the equivalent of not going. Oh my god, Rich. Oh, the R over the wall. I like it. But it's not good Nice okay. I mean, there was something going to seven. What the f old league, man? Just watch it. Just watch the death on Your bot lane. Enemy bot lane is mid. There's wait, a Shen versus caught. Karth is bot. <gasps> yeah. Okay, wait. It's actually... This is V5's fight. Wait, they actually just win the game off this. Wait, never mind. It's a reset. Arsa died. Leon gets a reset onto Jarvan. Oh, he QE'd, rookie. Oh my god, he QE'd. Oh no, no, no. But they're going to win anyway, maybe? Dead. There's nothing he can Wait, do. Wait, what is this ulti from... Okay. Uh, Rookie's like kind of oom here. I don't know if he can keep on going. Uh, they're outranged a bit. A little bit outranged. And you, you're going to become an iBoy hater because this is the guy that put Hong in prison. Hong was just in iBoy prison all of last year. Oh my god. Hong is finally the cuff girl. Wait, Fotek. What did you just do? What, did, what just happened? He literally I just looked just away for one second. I don't know, bro. I don't know. He just ran it. Wait, they're all dead. Oh, wait. It's a Nash. Oh, nice turn. Oh. Rookie. Oh, Rookie oh, and Karsa. The they're, they're all dead. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Oh, okay. Jesus. I mean, they get Nash, no? get Nash. It's definitely a Baron. It's definitely a Baron. Did both AD carries get PayPal by each owner on the opposite team? Opposite team? Oh, no. Wait, happen. Rookie, Rookie, are we going to lose well, this rookie, fight over a What are you doing, Rookie? We're going to try and kill a ward? Just, just get the Baron. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, my God. Uh, no, it's a bait. It's a bait. Now, my boy creeps it again. <laughs> 
right, Jesus. the first game was a lot better than this game. I think we can say that. But then this is so still on the team. And then Rookie just goes for a ward, and then they can't Baron because they go for a ward kill in the enemy jungle instead. Oh, dom, 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 dom. What, what, what? Dom. Look at Karsa's build. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zonya's Jarvan, baby. Okay, Seeker's okay. Seeker's arm guard. Hey, I mean, that's the classic, bro. When you play support Jarvan, this is all you go, so. Oh, wait. Yes. This Thresh is griefing, maybe. Oh, Leon should have picked up Thresh. No, he just uh, goes out. I think maybe he oh, dies if he picks rookie. up Thresh. Here comes Rookie. Oh my god, did you see that E damage? Look at the one-shot macro he has. This rice is absolutely what... Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, this rice three. build. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, Rich is... Like, LCK tops in the LCK right now as well are so weak. Apart from, like, Keen and maybe Kana, there's, like, Birdol, Hoya, uh, Zeus. Like, there's so many fresh names, kind of. Mm -hmm. In the top teams for the LCK, like Damwon's Gen G's top and T1 seem to be like struggling a bit. Oh. Uh, Zeus is doing okay. Like Zeus has a really high skill ceiling, but still right now he's low impact. Oh, he's caught. Man, the, you know who's his... playing good? You know who's playing like a monster? Morgan. This guy is insane. Morgan? He's smurfing, man. Yeah, he's popping off, man. Uh, so, you, so you just woke up and decided to just meme me today. All right, nice. Hey, no, I'm serious. This guy is actually popping off. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not Absolute for sure. legend is back. <laughs> Morgan is here to take over. It's a Gragas meta. This guy is just the best Gragas ever. Holy. You know, he wasn't actually bad in, in the LPL when he played with WE. He was actually pretty good. So I don't know what happened last year, but maybe he just hates it's Chovy. because he had Chovy on his team. Yeah. Now that Chovy's gone, this guy can carry now. True, true. More resources to Morgan. Less waves taken from him. I mean, their Thresh dies and they're like, okay, so we just... Push 4v5, kill them all. Oh, oh my Fotic. god. Holy f Assassin Aphelios. You saw that? Yep. Gale Force into the whole enemy team. Let's f go. Gale Force flashes into the enemy team. One shots them all and survives. I mean, Rookie's got 25 ah, stacks rookie. of death cap. Like, yeah. he, he can do whatever he wants. All right. I'm going to go LCK now. I mean, honestly, I, I think you, you could Corky into LeBlanc. I think that matchup is obviously, it's not like good for Corky, but I think Corky just takes a Hex Drinker and just chills in this matchup. I mean, you can literally just Corky here for for a rookie. I mean, maybe he doesn't want to pick it with uh, Zin up and, and having a Rakan, but like, I'm surprised that Corky dropped in so much prio here. Like, how did they get Zin on three, too? Did RA just forget about Zin, or do they really want to play something into the. Um, the Zen because Rexai obviously is going to be banned, which is what Lan would normally play. So like, does he want to play Kiana into Zen or something like this? That is the question. They ban Quarky and they end up just taking Victor. So what is RA going to play here? What is Strive going to play? I mean, will it be like Zoe or something? I mean, LeBlanc is banned, Syndra's banned. Now there's three mid laners banned into the Victor. Leanon is Nidalee. I mean, I don't think he has much setup here. Renekton is banned too, so maybe they go like set mid. Maybe we see a set mid out of Strive. I'm trying to think of possible picks here. Zoe TF. I mean, I, th I think that RA has a decent poke comp, but they have not much setup with it at all. I feel like this is a really hard Nidalee game to play. I would take playing red, red side comp like nine times out of 10. Also, Zin is really good into poke and Rakan is engaged into poke. Gragas on, on three, um, or sorry, Gragas on five, but Gragas for rich gives you Another form of engage. I just think, I think it's really hard for RA to, like RA just have to outplay. Obviously, if they get to the point where they're in a decent point in the game and they get around a dragon fight and they're all even and they have like Zoe bubbles and spears and Jace EQs, it can work. I just feel like V5 has the tools to deal with it. Working no item. Wait, is he, did he actually take no item or did he take no item and then base and then now he has an item? Nah, there's no way. Show the scoreboard. Oh my God, he has no items. He literally forgot items again. Oh my god, Rookie actually started the game with no items. Oh my god. Why does he do this every time, bro? Why does he always do this? How does he always forget? It's actually so crazy. I mean, he's just gonna have to TP really early. But I mean, this is just horrible. Like, how do you have no items, bro? How does he always forget items? This is like a consistent thing with Rookie. The no item mid, bro. He's gonna he's gonna get a nickname in China. In China, they always give nicknames to players off this. Oh, he actually bought no sustain. Rookie's like, it. I didn't start with the corrupting pot. I don't need a corrupting pot. Five head. Man, Karsta can't play the game. Not a hunger strike, yeah. Oh. 
ghost so uh Carso is just screwed right like the game is just doomed for him he's 14 cs at four minutes will end up getting the accelerated shock blast we'll probably have to use his flash here very very soon his flash gonna be nice these belly bump okay no and he lives Carson's game is so ruined bro he's 19 to 48 cs and this guy lived on 10 hp ff ff i'm getting so tilted as a jungler watching this i can't watch this anymore this is actually so grief man please i'm sorry for whatever i did to deserve watching this game nah and then he loses his grump he's gonna lose his respawn bot side again it's 52 to 21. So wait, maybe it was just a terrible flash. Also, Rookie is just running it down. Wait, Zora's dead. Okay. Rookie gets a kill. Rookie got first blood in this game. He got first blood. With no... Oh my god. He's gonna get another kill. Oh, Strive is in there. Oh my god, he got another kill. Rookie's actually just 2-0 without item. No! What is going on? There's no way you get you get rewarded for this. He has a dark seal that he bought because he bought no items. Oh my god. I can't, bro. I can't. A rookie is actually just sitting on mid now. Yeah, he had to heal there. Oh, rookie is dead, maybe? No, actually, no flash. No flash from Leanne. Well, so straight away you can see the power coming out from this nidley who has man this is such a weird game this might be the most weird game of league of legends i have watched this year i mean think about all the things that have happened okay so rookie started with no items Carson is down 60 cs in the jungle pre 10 minutes he's down 60 cs in the jungle pre 10 minutes then rookie tb'd back into lane didn't buy corrupting pot until like the fourth item in his inventory because he bought boots, an amp tome, and a dark seal. Then he ends up getting four stacks of the dark seal in a fight that happens randomly around the river because the Leona just flashes in and ends into him. Like, what is going on, bro? Rich has a CS lead. That's also really f***ing weird. Like, there's a lot of things that are going going on that are strange here. Oh my god, that bubble was uh, that bubble was low-key awful. Oh my god, he got he got Ricky got hit by both the spear and the Q at the same time. No, Rocky! All right, never mind. He's back to zero stacks. I mean, they got poked enough that they should be losing this. Oh my god, another flash! Jesus Christ, what is going on? Okay, I like this from from Carsa, honestly. And I guess he ends up dying, but. I actually don't mind the play. I mean, I don't know how much I like. Okay, so obviously AP Gragas is better at lane and Jace. I just feel like his role within fights could be to engage in certain situations. So like, if he does engage, that's actually a really nice ca cask from uh, Rich. But um, if he if he does have to engage fights or like if he does have to follow up engage, he's gonna be flashing into fights. I feel like he's not gonna be able to play the way he wants to. Uh, PB God, bro, what are you doing? Here we got as a sprinter. Play properly. You get one side of the map ahead. Oh, wait. Leanne is getting hit. Oh, that was actually nice. Rich, Rich has actually been playing pretty well this game. Okay. He's been playing well. I mean, a hard engage from RA should not be one. I mean, he had to flash fight this. Like, I don't care about this play. Like, I think this is just a bad play. Sure, you get second Drake, but it's like, it's a cloud Drake. And three people are gonna die. I hate this play from from RA, by the way. I am not a fan. Like, you probably just lose Baron now because you lost the fight so hard. But they're like hard engaging. Rich, what are you doing though? Rich, you're, you're kind of scaring me. Like, all you have to do is go to Baron. All you have to do is go to Baron. Man, maybe they can't Baron because Rich just did this. And Leanne has heals. Okay, like, hopefully they can still do it. Hopefully he didn't just grief it completely. But I don't even know, like, so there's like, so there's a conspiracy theorist in the chat that's just saying that the game is like obviously rigged. And that's why Rookie like forgot items and stuff. But like, what type of like rig would it, like what, what type of bets would you be trying to fulfill if you forgot items like this for Rookie? Like, I don't even know what bet this would have like satisfied because he's still going to win the game. And he still popped off and he had decent CS. So like, what would he even be doing? Like, I, I, I don't even know what the argument people are making is. Oh, PP Gods is kind of dead. Okay. It's a 4v5. 
man. They will get the blast cone though over the wall. Cube keeping himself alive just about. Never mind. Rich adds to all of his many, many gold. And they are going to try and keep themselves out of this fight. They're trying to keep them now away from their base. I, I can understand if Rookie like didn't buy items and then like ran it down the whole game and then you're trying to make a conspiracy theory. But I feel like this is such a bad game to make that theory off. Town is risky, but I think at this point they've got them cornered. They'll do their best to get away. Fotix taking his time. He knows cost a rookie on the Yeah, they're just dead. Should be three more members dead of RA. Uh, I guess it's only two. I guess they only kill two here, but I mean, two kills pretty much means they'll be first on Baron, and it's really hard for um, RA to not get engaged on if they lose complete control of vision on Baron. Another day, I boy, but I will get your heel out of you as Rich finally pops in. Oh, I boy, what are you doing? Oh, no, I boy, bro. Don't greed for the Gromp. He's so greedy, dude. Holy. That <laughs> boy's a chat. I mean, he got the Grump. Like, I mean, you could lose the game off that, but he did get the Grump. I mean, I saw so V5 can't sit on the Baron and let themselves get poked. They need to actually, like, turn and engage here. I like this from, from Karsa. Even though he's low life, like, this is what you need to do. Okay, Cube is dead. Cube should be dead. Rookie is just going to flash on iBoy here. Yeah, oh boy's just dead. Dude, Rookie's done that combo a couple times now. I guess it's just like pretty standard Victor stuff, but I don't see too many Victors play like that. Uh oh. Rich? Rich? Oh, Fodic. Wait, Leanne should have just taken, should have just flashed in on the, or should have just uh, pounced in on that, in my opinion. Because he's dead anyway. Might as well just pounce on Fodic, try to kill him when you hit the spear. I mean, uh, that, that's fine for V5. They just need to engage. If they get any engage, they, they hard win. Gone. Nothing you can do about it now. Zora trying to say if he can keep everyone away. Leanne is still hovering around. Nexus turret number two down now. So the Nexus is now exposed. It's a 5v5 as they look to try and maybe end this game. Look to try and take themselves to another victory. The Jinx is dead. That's pretty much going to be it. And that's going to be V5. With a game is over. Score line, taking this series and giving themselves back up to a... Just give, just give Rookie another kill. But in the end, the inevitable cannot be stopped. Destiny comes. As expected, no item rookie ends up just <laughs> smurfing the entire game.